The spotted lanternfly was first discovered in Maryland back in 2018, and now according to the Department of Agriculture, four years later, it's seemingly out of control in a number of different counties, including here in Harford and also in Cecil. Some are calling it an infestation. Millions of lantern flies in a number of parts of Harford and Cecil counties, as well as Washington County in Western Maryland. So this is our circle trap. 11 News spoke with Kenton Sumpner, an entomologist with the Department of Agriculture and member of the state's spotted lanternfly team. If I were to show you the map right now of what resident reporting looks like online, it's just this blizzard of red points. Sumpter explained to us over the past four years, the lanternfly population has exploded, migrating mainly by hitchhiking rides on trains, semi-trucks and cars. Originating in Eastern Asia and showing up in Maryland in 2018, it's believed that they got to the U.S. in contaminated shipping containers. It is present throughout the entire Mid-Atlantic area, as far west as Indiana now, as far south as North Carolina. So it's, it's spread. It's really taken off. The lanternflies mainly feed off another invasive species, the Tree of Heaven, known for its sugary sap. They will excrete sugar water, which causes mold on forest floors and property. The good news is right now they don't seem to be posing too much of a problem for crops. However, some wineries are reporting lower yields when it comes to grapes. The primary problem with it is that it's an agricultural pest. Um, luckily, what we found is that it's not attacking a ton of commodities. Um, our worries are still for vineyards, orchards, and um, nurseries. The bad news is they are really annoying. Getting on your clothes, house, cars, you name it. They live in human communities, so they're the kind of pest like a mosquito where you're at your house and they're jumping on you, they're getting in your way. Um, luckily, these don't bite, they don't sting, they don't transfer any pathogens, so they're less bad than a mosquito. While you can use insecticides to kill them, it is recommended that you actually kill them with your hands or by foot and that you report it to the state. And for more information on what to do if you see spotted lantern flies or if you want to know how to kill them, you can log on to our website, WBALTV.com, or our mobile app for more information. In Hartford County, I'm Lowell Melser, WBAL TV 11 News.